really wanted to focus on how outdoor learning has become such an important aspect of the conversation in design and how can we blur the lines between indoor and outdoor space to empower teachers and our learners to really create flexible environments that focus on the needs of all students. The intended impact of this space is really to allow students to kind of find themselves in whatever environment suits them best, whether it's large or small groups, inside or outside, creating flexibility in how they learn best and how they interact with the space around them, whether that's through learning nooks or furniture they can wiggle and move in, um, or just getting to collaborate with their class, um, however suits their individual needs. The ability for students to connect with the outdoor environment, both in how we bring um, out the outdoors inside through visuals and through biophilic design, but also by bringing students outside. So we did that by connecting outdoor and indoor learning environments within this room. So we have connections to the outdoors, both by bringing visuals in from the Pacific Northwest, which we are in that beautiful area now, but also by bringing outdoor elements in. We have these clouds above us that are over the indoor classroom space specifically, talking about how we want students to experience nature both in the classroom but also by moving out of the classroom. Plan ahead and prepare. Think about how people are going to be using the space, but also how can you help them use the space differently. Um, I always feel that adults sometimes have a harder time adapting to flexible learning environments than students, so how can we challenge them to think outside the rows that we so often sit in in a classroom and think about the flexible learning environment? It's such a great opportunity to force people into a flexible environment while they're sitting in a CEU and experience what their students get to experience every day. Thank you.